Is creating courses a good idea? Is teaching tutorials a good idea? Let's talk about that in more detail. Stay all the way to the end and find out. Hey, so the other day, Chris Hawks made a video about needing advice, and I thought I would go ahead and throw in my two cents here. So if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link below in the description what it's about. But basically, Chris Hawks is another YouTuber. He mostly just gives advice videos, doesn't do too many tutorials anymore. He used to a long time ago, and he's been around for quite a while. And uh, the problem he's coming up with is that he is seeing other channels like Traversy Media, like Coding Train, like uh, quite a few others that are doing these really high quality tutorials. And his idea is that he should maybe start doing those tutorials as well. But the problem is, is he has a full-time job. He kind of does this on the side. So he was wondering, you know, is it worth it? And what does his audience want? Do they want him to do more tutorials? Do they want him to give more advice? During the video, he said that specifically that creating tutorials doesn't make money. That if you create tutorials and you sell them on Udemy or your own platform, you're probably not going to make any money. And since he makes pretty good money as a developer right now, it doesn't really make any sense for him to do these courses. But I don't really think that's true. I think you can make money off Udemy and these other services. You just have to approach it the right way. And I think if you do, you can make substantial amounts of money. So let's talk about that a little bit more. If he decided to instead take his audience and then create content and sell that content to them as like an added bonus. Maybe he puts one part of his tutorial series on YouTube and then puts the rest on Udemy or is on his own website. That I think that's a better model. People need to pay for products. That's the bottom line of it. And what you could do is you can use your YouTube channel as like a marketing channel for your products. That doesn't mean that every single YouTube video you're you're constantly through the whole video promoting your stuff. But if you look at any YouTuber that has any any type of success, you always see them hawking their shirts. You're, you see them hawking uh, affiliate links in their descriptions. You know, I've done some affiliates. I'm a proud Udemy affiliate. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I think that's how Chris should think about this. You know, as content creators on YouTube, as programmers and developers, we're all very, very busy and we have a very unique skill set. And I see no problem with teaching people for free on YouTube, but then also holding a little bit back and then putting that in its own course. Or even better yet, put everything for free on YouTube, but if you want an extra level of information, if you want that one-on-one -on -one hand holding, if you want more detailed versions of the examples and like maybe you put a mini course on YouTube, but you put the full course out to buy. You know, I have no problem with that. And I think that's really what a lot of us content creators should do on YouTube is that we should offer paid products for the people that are interested. You know, maybe 95% of people are just going to watch our videos and that's great and great and that we will make a little bit of money off of AdSense. But for those people that want a little bit more, want a little bit higher quality, want support, maybe even get one-on-one -on -one coaching, things like that, then you offer paid products. And I really think there's this myth out there that IT people or developers don't pay for anything, that they want everything to be free. But in fact, there's a lot of businesses out there that are based on people paying for products. And it's okay. And really, and when you're talking about $10 products, it's pretty cheap. I mean, $10, $20, that's, that's a pretty cheap product. It's almost an impulse buy for a lot of people. And I think that you don't have to have the thought of, well, I need to start off and make at least $2,000 a month off my courses to make it worth it. I think it's okay to be like, hey, I made a couple hundred bucks. How can I grow that? You know, How can I deliver as much value to the people that are watching me for free? But then you know, for the people that need a little extra, I can help those people out too. And I think you're doing a disservice if you don't do that. Now that's why I have my own books. You know, I have my own book on Ember.js. I'm writing a book on Vue.js. I'm creating a course right now on Vue.js that hopefully will be out sometime this year so you know that's what i'm doing and you know coding phase he created a whole bunch he's another youtuber that does uh video tutorials like this he is putting together some courses he actually already created a bunch of courses he's selling you know i don't think he has any problem doing that so i think it's okay to go out there and sell and and build up upon your audience and like i said i think this is also a good way to stair step your way to more products and get used to being in business. And of course, you know, if you do this month after month and you see no success and, and you're still 
at the same amount, then you need to reevaluate what you're doing wrong or maybe stop it altogether. But I think this is a, a good way to, to start. So that's, that's a quick few things on my thoughts on this, on this video here. What are your thoughts about YouTube creators, um, creating courses like Traversy Media and, and Coding Phase and maybe Chris Hawks one day and like I do, do you guys like it? I mean, what do you think? How do you support your creators? I know some of us have Patreons. I don't have a Patreon, but do you think that's a better way? Leave a comment below with your, with your thoughts. Let me know. If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button and then click that little bell button and you'll be notified next time my video comes out.